My name is Yiling Chen. I'm a professor of computer science in uh, the School of Engineering and Applied Sciences. Uh, my own research is at the intersection between computer science and economics. I'm interested in questions that's considering uh, both like economic properties and also computational properties of systems, mechanisms, and, and other platform applications. My talk is titled uh, Machine Learning with Strategic Data Sources. Uh, so the focus of the talk is trying to uh, introduce or bring the awareness of the fundamental problem that when we do machine learning, we actually cannot assume that the data is already out there and they're just a, a representative sample of the underlying true distribution. So in my talk, what I discuss is that uh, data actually hold by people and people can behave strategically or they have different levels of willingness to reveal their data. And if we think about how can we get the data from uh, the population of people, uh, we're going to introduce biases to the data that we collected. And when we do machine learning, we should take into consideration of the potential bias during the data acquisition process. And we should consider the learning and the acquisition simultaneously. It is definitely like a very exciting and fascinating. Uh, the reason that I personally find it very interesting is that I like to think about things in a quantitative way. I like things uh, that I can conclude from the data, and big data offers an opportunity for us to develop method and methodologies and other techniques to actually uh, explore what data represents and give us a more better understanding of what's actually going on behind the data. I think that's super exciting. So, um, I guess the first challenge probably is that big data is just too big, so we just have too many data, too much data available out there uh, that poses a computational challenge about the techniques that we developed probably are not suitable for big data yet. I think one challenge is that how can we develop techniques or methodologies that are very good at analyzing big data. So that's probably one of the most important challenges for big data, uh, in my opinion. And the second one is that um, we're very thankful for having the data available so that we can do analysis. Uh, but on the other hand, we need to think about the validity and the quality of the data. So we want big data, but on the other hand, we really want good data. So that's the second challenge.